Welcome back. May is Awareness Month for preeclampsia, a type of high blood pressure some women can develop during or after pregnancy. A new survey shows many of us are not aware of the condition which can be deadly. Bradley Blackburn introduces us to a mom who is educating others after suffering unthinkable loss. Treshawn Powell's mission is to raise awareness. I always say that my story can change yours is it's really important to talk with your doctor about your symptoms. In 2013, the Powells were thrilled to be expecting their first baby. Treshawn's blood pressure was high at her 20-week appointment. Three weeks later, she called her doctor. He suspected a stomach virus. I ended up vomiting controllably, couldn't stand severe swelling in my feet and ankles. I called him back again. He said, you probably should go to the nearest ER. She had developed HELP syndrome, a variant of preeclampsia, the only treatment to deliver at 23 weeks. Treshawn was left fighting for her life and grieving after losing her baby, Mia. After Mia passed, it was very difficult for me to comprehend what just happened in a matter of hours. A new survey for the March of Dimes finds only 42% of people are familiar with preeclampsia. Blood pressure will start to rise. Dizziness, blurred vision is very common. Nausea and vomiting, abdominal pain, and then a lot of swelling. African American women are also at higher risk of pregnancy complications. The maternal health care crisis that's going on now in the United States is um, deplorable. And when you look at black women, they are three to four times more likely to die than white women. The Powells now have eight year old Jasmine and five year old Ryan. Treshawn was monitored closely for both pregnancies. Every woman, no matter what color, should have a beautiful successful birthing experience. And to help make that happen, she organized the Promise Walk for preeclampsia in her New Jersey hometown this month. Bradley Blackburn, CBS News.